According to the National Pizza Association, 3 billion pizzas were made in America last year. That's $38 billion worth of pizza in just in one year. Americans are obsessed with pizza, and so am I. Here about three weeks ago, I started working at a small pizza parlor here in Bowling Green called Donato's. And our, since our first day there, they have stressed the importance of the ingredients, such as the saucing and the cheesing, and all the toppings in the pizza. So to begin, I'm going to show you guys how to properly sauce a pizza from Donato's. Sorry, I have a dirty plate, but I'm going to show you how to sauce a pizza from Donato's. The first thing you want to do is you want to get your round bowl shaped spoon and you want to dip it in the sauce. You want to level scoop, not too much, but not too little. So if you have too much, it's going to, it's going to come over the edge of your pizza right here. And it's going to cause the pizza to burn and it won't be as good to the consumer. If you have too little, you're going to have dry spots throughout the pizza, which is, does the same thing. So here's what you take your scoop, you're going to place it directly in the center of the pie. You want to slowly and lightly work your way from center, from the center to the edge, and to the other edges around the pizza, until it is about the same distance around the edge, around the entire thing. What comes after the sauce is probably one of the most important things to most people on pizza. It's the cheese. If you don't have the right amount of cheese on your pizza, it can really affect the way you feel about it, the way it tastes, or the, even the way it looks. So when cheesing a pizza, you need to be very careful, because it can be a mess. You want to take your cheese, put it in your hand, you want to have your guard, this is your off hand, it's your guard hand right here. You're going to put your hand around the edge of the pizza and slightly throw it to where the, so your hand like makes the cheese not hang over the edge of the crust, but it makes it go right up to the edge. So you're going edge to edge on the pizza, which is also Donato's slogan. So you work your way around the edge until it looks about like this, all the way around. And then you finish it with throwing more cheese in the center. Now, I would say the most important thing at Donato's is our toppings. Especially when making a pepperoni pizza, the toppings are where it's at. You've got to put 100 pepperonis exactly on each pepperoni pizza. When making the pepperoni pizza, you're going to start around the edge of the pizza until you make it all the way around. You want them stacked up, layered across it. Then you're going to split the pizza directly down the middle and fill in your two sides, side to side, until the pizza is completely covered. Here's a few steps in making the pepperoni pizza. Here's a small example of what it should look like. As you guys can see there. After the pepperoni pizza is completed, you're gonna take it and you're gonna put your Romano, which is just Parmesan cheese mixed with a little ground pepper and some salt over evenly across the pizza. You're gonna place it into the oven, which lasts about 14 minutes long, and then your pizza is ready to go. Throughout this speech, I've given you guys various ways to sauce and cheese your pizzas. I've taught you how to do it the right way and how the Donato's family likes it done. And here's an example of the pepperoni pizza after you take it out of the oven. Thank you.